Hello! It's nearly time for the third week of my Small Objects of Desire event and this time it's going to be fairies and feathers. Um, the feathers are going to refer to some more ravens which I will have and the fairies, well that's self-explanatory. Um, I just wanted to share with you um, how I make them. I'm so excited about these. I'm so pleased with the way these have come out. This is the first time I've made fairies this small. Um, as you can see, they're quite finely painted and their little heads turn so they are very poseable and they have beautiful wings which are all handmade by me um, from a special kind of acetate film and they're wired so again they're if you're gentle with them you can you can pose them slightly so you can open the wings up or or um, or close them up if you wish here's another little one these will all be fully mounted and fixed by Friday this is my other little tiny fairy and she has really gorgeous uh, shimmering peacock wings and here is one of my larger fairies again she's going to be mounted properly um, but I haven't had time to do that yet um, so this is one of my larger fairies and with her beautiful iridescent blue wings And here's one I really haven't quite finished yet, but I thought I'd show you because um, it'll give you an insight into how they are made. So here is the body, obviously, and there's a loop uh, for stringing the, the head together. The body is um, completely hand sculpted, uh, freehand, and then hollowed out. She's had her wings attached, which in this case, because she's the largest one, I actually made each wing in, in two sections. So um, they're very, very poseable, actually. I'm very pleased with the way they've turned out. And here is her lovely head. Um, I haven't decided what wig I'm going to give her, but again, she will be able to be seen in all her glory by Friday. See you then.